Good morning, dear friends. I wanted to share this word that came into my mind sometime in the middle of the night. And I recognize it from the Lord. And I don't know if it might speak to anybody, but I'm going to get it into my journal here. Also, I'm going to take off for a cleaning job. But I'm going to list the scriptures below for anybody that wants to take a look at this. But the word that came into my mind was the word protect protect and you know y'all have been hearing me talk about waiting on my husband to come around and not be upset with me and let his offense go and stuff like that and I keep asking the Lord what do you want me to do Lord this is hard to endure he keeps saying be patient Misty Love is patient. And now this word protect has come to me. Um, and so, a lot of times what I do is anytime I, something comes in my mind, especially without even trying, or like if I'm reading a scripture and it jumps out to me, kind of grabs my attention, pierces my heart, many times I realize that's what the Lord is wanting to give me more understanding on and so that's why this morning when I got up I went and looked up all scriptures that have the word protect in them and there are many Psalms Proverbs Second Thessalonians like I said I'm gonna list them but what it I got a picture of also I saw my husband last night sitting out on the porch by himself because he's kind of withdrawing you know, he's musing in his mood and he's wrestling with that anger he feels and that offense that he feels. And what I felt like the Lord was wanting me to do was die to myself. Lord, help me. Die. Don't let this flesh roll over me or these thoughts of retribution and um, being offended with them myself or all this stuff. Help me to die to that and live to you, Lord. Live to your word. Practice your words and apply them to this situation. Y'all, I've already learned so much through this trying situation. And you can do that too. Anything you got coming against you. Person railing against you. Being mean. A sticky situation worry about finances worry about sickness we can find the lord in all of our trials and afflictions paul said i rejoice in those things you know there's a lesson in it there's something to learn and but i saw my husband sitting there all alone though he chooses to be right now he's trying to keep his mouth closed so he won't say anything else hurtful to me but I saw him there, and then the Lord struck my heart with sadness and compassion for him. And I realized, you know, how do I protect him? Love protects. In 2 Corinthians chapter 13, one of the translations of where it's describing love says, Love protects. And then you can go look at all the scriptures where it talks about how the Lord protects us. And I just felt in my heart that I was to make request to the Lord. There I saw a brother in need, right? Wrestling with anger. I could see the things going on. Of course, the, only the Lord can see his heart. But I saw a need. I saw a person who was hungry naked poor in a bad state and rather than turn away from him or be angry with him or judge him or whatever the Lord is calling me to protect him so I just went to the Lord and asked the Lord Lord please soften his heart please help him to see that anger gives the devil a foothold please Lord speak to him some encouragement change his mind and even if it and not just to benefit me that's the thing 
Lord, I want you to help him even if it doesn't benefit me. Even if he's still angry and mad with me and goes on and on, I'm asking you to help him, Lord. Protect him, Lord, from his own fleshly ways. Protect him from me wanting to be angry back. You know, stuff like that. So I wanted to get that in here about protecting. How are we protecting other people? How are we protecting other people today? Protecting their name, their character, their reputation, giving them the benefit of the doubt, covering them with our prayers to the Lord. You know, protect people. You know, and, and when we do things like humiliate them, bring shame to them, condemnation to them, pointing our finger, looking down on them, slandering, talking about them and stuff, that is not protecting them. So that's just something I've got to think about. Thought I would share it with y'all. Um, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And I'm thinking about you and the things you're wrestling with and struggling with. And the Lord will help us. He is our helper. He sure is faithful. Isn't he? I love y'all. Talk to you soon.